Still ahead tonight on Time Warner Cable 8 News at 10, we'll tell you about a local art exhibit that is giving back to the community and helping budding artists. Creative connections after the break. Don't go away. In its second summer showing, the Adams Art Gallery hosts an exhibit of works by artists with disabilities from the Resource Center. It's not just an exhibit, though, as it also raises money for a good cause and will help budding artists. Cable 8's Katie Cummings explains in tonight's Creative Connections. The Coats of Many Colors exhibit brings together work from many locations of the Resource Center, including Jamestown and Dunkirk. A partnership with the Adams Art Gallery last summer was well received and led to this exhibit. Among the paintings and sculptures, there will be many other pieces. Fiber products, um, scarves, and paintings, drawings, um, in all different medias. Each piece also has information about the artists and the process involved in creating the work. Briggs wants to stress that while some pieces seem simple, it could take an artist with disabilities hours, weeks, or months to complete. Another part of the exhibit is a series of community workshops, such as one taking place this Friday on acrylic flower painting. Participants will learn techniques and the $30 entry fee includes canvas and painting supplies. The final workshop takes place August 12th. But we're also going to have a photography walk. Um, Suzette Paduano is actually going to be coming in um, and taking a group to Point Gratchet. There's going to be two other photographers, myself um, and Jen Price, which is a local Jamestown photographer. Um, we're going to be walking around Point Gratchet, um, showing people how to use their cameras, um, how to do composition, just to have that one-on-one -on -one time with an artist uh, to really get some great training in. Um, lighting, different things that are Sometimes you can't find anybody to help you figure that out. So we're going to be getting those together as well. All of the works on display are up for sale and will help to benefit the Adams Art Gallery. So the proceeds that are made from the artwork sales and the sales of the things that we're selling today, they are going to go into a separate fund that will supply that, hopefully in the future sometime, allotting um, for a wheelchair ramp and eventually a lift so that every individual can, can really gain from this gallery. This is, this is the only community gallery that I'm aware of um, in Dunkirk um, and it has not been able to be utilized ever by individuals with disabilities and that's something that is a long-term goal. We really want to see that happen and if we have an account of money it's easier to get grants and get the funding to show yes we've done the work, we've done the footwork, we've got a chunk of money, help us with the rest. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to eventually make that dream happen. If you would like to register for the workshops, you can visit the gallery's website or call the Resource Center. Coats of Many Colors runs till August 31st. With your Creative Connections, I'm Katie Cummings.